everything like that. So I forgot to mention that the cord is 30 inches long and that's how you turn the power on. The default is two hours and high heat. High heat is 500 degrees and low heat is 300 degrees. You have a timer over here and the maximum um, cook time is uh, four hours. And now you've, this shows you your heating elements. You've got the two outer heating elements and you've got the inner heating element. And now when you go, now you're high. Now when you hit this, when you go on low, now you only have one outer heating element and the inner one is on and you can also shut off the inner one if you wanted to. So, uh, I actually don't think, to, oh, and if, once you get your everything set, you just hit that button and that's what starts the cooking. So that's pretty much it for the controls. I'm going to go out get a turkey and we'll uh, start cooking. For this first turkey I'm just going with a butter ball that's a little over 11 pounds and I found out that I don't have any small skewers. I want to point out the wings there that they're um, if I had the skewers I would pin the wings in so I just cut off the tips and I'm hoping for the best. So the instructions say six minutes per pound at high temp so I that's about uh, one hour and ten minutes one hour and seven I just rounded it up to 110 I just want to point out these lights are flashing and this one is on high temperature I got it set all I have to do now is hit the start button and it just does whatever it has to do so I'll just be back um, oh I gotta put the lid on and I will just be back when there's something else to show you I wanted to point out the um, when we started the uh, lights were up there, up there, and now they're down there, and, that, and that's done automatically uh, with the machine. You don't have to do anything with it. And once it gets to the interior temperature, the uh, middle light's going to shut off as well. So I'll see you again in about an hour. So to get the bird out, you just take the hook, hook it on there. Lift it out, have a pan ready, and the bottom of the uh, cage is pretty sharp, so don't use your really good nonstick pans for this because it will scratch it. So here's your uh, juices at the bottom of the roaster, and the lid and the body get really, really hot. The base and the handles aren't too bad, but the other two get really hot, so be careful. Now you can see uh, most of the bird came out very well, a little bit overdone on the legs and a little bit on the wings. I was going to turn it down to low or put uh, aluminum foil on the wings, but I figured since um, this is a trial run, you guys can learn from my mistakes, so I just let it, you know, run its course. But the next time, I'm going to probably manually turn it to low uh, or cover the wings with some aluminum foil. But all in all, it... Uh, it came out pretty good for a first run.